Hey guys, this is Anthony. Um, I've been doing uh, some key stamping recently with the HPC stamp aligner and wanted to uh, record some uh, things I've learned along the way, just some minor tips that I don't want to have to relearn in the future. So uh, one thing I've learned is that when you, first of all, don't swing this too far because there's a little ball bearing here that will pop out and it's not a big deal if it pops out, but you have to becomes a pain you have to kind of like push it down with your finger and then kind of move this back into place it's it's fine it's just annoying and especially if the ball bearing gall, uh, rolls away then it's really annoying uh so another thing uh here is that uh let's see i'm gonna try to keep put this in the view of the camera as best i can um trying to do this around the camera but this uh little holder arm thing there we go uh so when i first started stamping the keys um i was uh i don't remember where i picked this up but you know i centered it kind of i put the key here and i centered it and then i kind of i figured well this thing should be like you know maybe diagonal or like i don't know for some reason i was doing it like this um, and it held pretty well, but I would find that, uh, after whacking the key a few times, it would jump around, um, and that wasn't good. So, uh, I learned a few things from that, but, uh, ultimately I, I researched some videos and found out that I think this is not supposed to be diagonal. It's really supposed to be kind of like this. Um, the reason I think that is that there's like a little hole over here and i think that's kind of like a stop for this thing and i think i just think it's supposed to be perpendicular to the key even though you figure well there's a little bit more key material up here which is kind of why i was reaching for it going diagonally but um no I don't, I don't think so i think it's supposed to be uh sideways on the key like that so that's where i've gone don't over tighten this it's it's like anything like plumbing or whatever you know uh you want it snug but not you know crazy so because then it'll strip out and you'll lose it but um so anyway uh so you center it and the other thing i've learned is uh so when i first started doing this i was trying to do it quickly and so what i would do is i would say well all right i need to do b b a c c so i'd grab b from my stamp thing and i'd whack it and let's see if I can do this. Uh, and then I'd say, okay, great, B, we're all set. Good, B, B, and then, you know. So what I learned, especially when the key occasionally moved around, is uh, even if you have two things in a row, and this is just my personal take, um, but I'm going to check it each time. I'm going to open, I'm going to put some overhead light and look down the little hole, and you can't really see that here, but... You know, if you have an overhead light, you can see whether you've actually stamped it. Uh, I'm going to check it after each letter because uh, it it's slightly slower, but you actually make sure that it stamped where you thought it did, that it didn't move around. And occasionally you, you'll whack one of these things and um, it will kind of like, this thing will kind of like go like that or, and usually the actual stamp is fine, but uh yeah, uh, I, I still, I've learned not to rush it. So this is BBACC. Uh, if it was like BBABB, -B -B, I might do, oh, B, B, and then move it all the way without looking at it. No, no, no. Now I've learned, look at it each time. Um, and that's about it. Just go slow uh, and have this thing be perpendicular. So these are two very minor tips, but... Uh, I picked them up. I, I learned them. I don't want to relearn them if I ever end up having to stamp a bunch of keys again. So there you go. I uh, hope it helps someone out there at some point.